Number four, the welt seam. You start by placing right sides together and you stitch a half an inch seam. Press the seam open, then press that seam towards one side. Trim the inner seam allowance underneath here to a scant one eighth of one quarter of an inch. So that means it's slightly smaller than a quarter of an inch. Then you can pin this in place and then you're going to stitch on the top that you're going to top stitch. So that means you flip it over and it's on the right side and you stitch a quarter of an inch away from the original seam. So you're stitching and again every each of these samples that I'm demoing your stitching goes all the way down to the end. You'll stitch the entire length of the sample. I've left mine open so I can show you the different steps. Um, so that stitching goes all the way, the entire length of the fabric. And then you want to make sure that when you roll this longer seam allowance back that you can't see the seam because you want to completely enclose the seam allowance that you've trimmed down. So that is the welt seam. Seam number five is a slot seam. So this is a decorative stitch. This is what it looks like when it's finished. And you can put a contrasting fabric in here, a print or a color, what have you, but it would be decorative because this is what you see on the outside of the garment. All right, so to start the slot seam, you take your two pieces of fabric and you're going to baste. So when you baste, you do not backstitch and you are going to use a longer stitch length. So I'm taking you over here to my sewing machine and on your sewing machine, you need to find your stitch length dial. So normal stitch length or regular stitch length is between two and a half and three. So on my machine, I have it set at two and a half and there's a little indentation right here and that's how I know where, which length it's set to. But when you baste, you turn the dial to the largest number. So here you can see, hopefully you can see, that now my um, stitch length is set to five. So that would be a longer stitch and it's easier to remove. So basting is a temporary stitch. So we'll move back over to the sample. The slot seam. So that first step, you take the two pieces of fabric, put right sides together, and we baste with a half an inch seam. So no back stitching, use that longer stitch length. And then you take this over to the iron and press that seam open. In the first page of the instructions, you, the instructions have had you cut an underlay piece that is one inch by seven inches. So now you're going to pin that underlay piece right on top of your seam allowance. So your seam allowance is pressed open. You line this up and you keep it held in place with pins. And then you turn your stitch length dial back to the regular stitch length. So that's between two and a half and three. And then you're going to stitch through all the layers, one quarter of an inch from the center basting here in the middle. So you baste a quarter of an inch, and again, all the way down to the length of your sample. On both sides, one quarter of an inch. And the next thing that you do is you remove the center seam. So you can use your seam ripper. This is the seam ripper, if you haven't already used it. It's a tool that has a little blade right here 
and it removes the seam. So you can get it into the center of that seam and break the stitches. So you remove it and then you are finished with the slot seam.